This uh, little video is an exercise in reassurance for those of you who are on the waiting list for pin pillows. Please believe me, I am working, I am getting there. One is finished, completely finished. I have five to make. Um, four people waiting, one person asking for two. So, and I can't make any more yet, I really can't, I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, just keep an eye on my blog in maybe six, seven weeks. I may, you know, put out a few more at that point, but at this moment, once these are finished, that'll be it for a while. I just can't keep doing it, um, you know, over and over and over again. I thought about employing some little children and paying them 50 pence an hour, which is about 70 cents an hour, and <laughs> put them in the shed and they could make them, but no, I think I'd probably get arrested. So there's one finished and I have a master sheet here and there's four on here. So this is going to be damp stretched and cut up and it was just to show you about the pro, I mean they are time consuming, they're not quick by any stretch of the imagination. So like for example, I've got a viewfinder here, so up here, up here I'll pull in actually, but not too much, I don't want you to lose a sense of the whole thing. So up here, this is one here, so if I put the viewfinder on there, you will see the surface of that one, that's what that one's going to look like. And then over here, that one's finished. Okay, this one's finished. I just can't cut them out and damp stretch till all the four I've got on here are finished. Okay, that's another one. That's there. Okay, so that one's finished. On this one, there's like a little frill there and another one there and a little bumpy bit there and a strip there. So that's another one finished. On the first one that I showed you, we've got like a little pocket here going on here. And then there's a little pocket here and another fold over thing here and some bumpy bits. So that's two. And then the third one that's finished is down here. I mean, they're all different, but the same, if you know what I mean. You tell they all belong together and yet they all have different little things going on. So this one's got like a flouncy thing going on along there on a band of lace. And then a little bit in the corner that doesn't really lift up. It's more decorative there. And then this one, actually, I spent a whole evening cross-stitching white hearts on here. And you can't see them. You can see them when you look closely. But in photographs and on here, you can't tell, which is quite frustrating for me. But if you happen to get this one, when you get it, you will see all the effort that's gone in there with all these cross-stitch hearts. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cross stitch hearts on that little piece of cloth and that took me an awful long time and I don't know, when I stretched it and looked at it the next day I thought, oh, that's not, you know, really showing up, was it worth the effort? But it was worth the effort because if you come to own this one, it will be very obvious to you, you will be able to see that and each heart has a little dot of colour on the tip so that's what those dots of colour are and then this is the fourth one the last one because that's one and this will be five i started this one last night the needle's still in and this one has just at the moment it has two like strips of lace going across okay and i have plans for down here and up here and possibly something going that way but the thing about this is, if you look under here, we have lots of uh, web stitches here. Pull in, see if you can see that. We have lots of web stitches here with added little flowers in French knots and lazy daisy stitch. Okay, so that's there. And then I'm probably, almost certainly, going to embroider something in here and then that will come down and that will have the web stitches, sorry, the web stitches as well across there. And Christine, I think you got yours um, when whilst I was away and thanks so much for that email. I got that email when I was in Sweden and I was so happy to hear that you liked it. So thanks for that. And Lynn, if you're watching this video, I will do that piece of cloth. I promise you I will probably at the weekend. I hope that's okay. Now, I just wanted to show you something else while I was here. I bought this in Sweden and I can't read or speak a word of Swedish, which is appalling when you think I've been going there for 20 years, but there you go. Typical English, I suppose. Um, doesn't want to learn, not doesn't want to learn a foreign language, but everyone's, so many people speak English that, you know, you don't feel that you, sh you have to, but I feel I should learn to speak Swedish. But anyway, bought this little children's book, it's quite small, it's only little, 
but it has if you've done my ledger class listen up ladies because this has a fantastic ledger potential it's just a children's storybook i don't even know what it's about okay but look at the fantastic pages and the doodling swedish doodling i, I mean i just love it so i'm gonna hopefully work in this whilst i'm doing simply stitch and i'm not going to expect those of you doing simply stitch to do anything like this this will just be part of my process of how i work so you know you won't have to do anything like this at all but if i do work in here you will get to see it first so i mean look at all the lovely little details all the little doodles and pictures so and i love this page look at all these little people i just love it and it has so much potential for ledger work so hopefully by me showing you that and um, my camera cut off there i don't know what happened so if this is a bit disjointed i'm sorry you'll appreciate that my holiday wasn't just about cake in fact i only had three cakes all the time i was there despite what it may have looked like so yeah my lovely little book so we'll see how that evolves with my little doodles in there that may not be very good so don't get too excited <laughs>